This is a little tutorial about assembly in Fusion 360. What we want to do is assemble a block to a plate. That sounds very simple, but when you want to assemble the block offset from the corners of that, of that plate, things get a little interesting. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our plate, and to do so we create a new component. That's an empty component, and the reason why I'm doing this is everything after that component is created and activated and newly created components are automatically activated indicating by this radio button here everything created after that is created in that component so all the sketches and bodies that I create or construction geometry all belongs that belongs to that plate is also all, all going to be created in this plate and we're going to see that in a moment we're just going to create a rectangle here, pull this out to 18.5 millimeters for no particular reason. You can already see all the body is here and the sketch is also in this component. So each, in each assembly one component has to be grounded. So we'll do that with that plate. And now we're going to hide that plate. So the next component is going to be our block. Oops, I need to activate it. That's a nice block. Okay, that's, let's rename this component. That's our block. So now we have our two components. <coughs> Uh, the plate shows, in, uh, shows up there half transparent and the reason for that it's not activated only the active component is, uh, looks solid but if we activate the top level both of them look opaque so now what we want to do is uh, we're going to assemble that block to that plate so you see that I've dragged that block around so the first thing that happens when I click on the joint here, it asks me you want to capture the position. In this case, yes, I want to capture the position so that block doesn't jump back into the plate. So that I can actually access the corners of this block. You can see, I cancel this, you can see when uh, I press this joint menu, that joint origin, that round thing with a half moon cutout, adheres to this plane but in this case it also, depending on how you move it, it, it might adhere to an edge. If you want to constrain it either to that edge or you want to constrain it to this plane, you hold the command key or the control key on a Windows computer. So that's the first component. We do the same here, we join it to this corner. What you can already see, you can change the angle here. But you can't change, there is no way to provide an offset. So it'll be also joined to this, always joined to this corner. But what you can do is you can create a joint origin. That's a specific distinct assembly point. So in this case, we're going to start here at the corner and it provides us with those three arrows and those are there to provide an offset. So give that one inch of an offset in this direction and minus one inch in that direction and there's our joint origin. And what we can do now is basically join that cube to that joint origin. Okay, here's another detail. We see that the joint that we created is here, but where's the joint origin? It's not created anywhere here. It is in the plate distinct joint origin always has to live in one component. It cannot live at the top level. So now, if you want to change the location, you can simply edit that joint origin through the timeline or by accessing it here through the, uh, through the component in the browser. You can change the offset, accept, and there the location of your cube or block is changed. But there's there's at least one other way to do this that does not involve a joint origin. So let's delete this. 
what you can do, you can simply create a sketch. We create a sketch on the top plane of that plate. So it's highlighted in orange. Uh, it's somewhat auto projected the outline of that sketch. You don't see the lines. Uh, Fusion 360 hides those, but it turns the face orange to indicate it's a closed surface. Um, but we don't necessarily need that right now. So we're going to make create simply create a horizontal line and a vertical line. And then I'm going to simply dimension those one inch here, another inch here. And if you want to, of course, we're not creating geometry with this. We can select those and turn them into construction geometry. Stop the sketch. Highlight our top level. And now we can actually join our block here to that point in the sketch. So now if you want to change the location, you could edit the sketch. You could edit the sketch to the timeline, for example, and change the dimension. That, that's not necessarily more convenient than using a joint origin. But a nice thing about sketches is that uh, you can actually show the dimensions by right-clicking on it and hiding and showing the dimensions. And then you can also edit those dimensions without actually having to edit the sketch. So this is, these are two methods of how to join a block to a plate with an offset.